Welcome to Video Mag, where each episode we honor the rarest and most unsung of all guitar players, the guitar playing journalists. We dust off an old magazine, this time from 2000, October. The cover, there you have it right there. Eric Clapton, V.B. King, Lit. You can get four different covers if you're into collecting and all that. So, and of course, the legend, the 4 the uh, four by 12 cabinet. Now this episode, we're going to cover this article right here. It's Confessions of a Vintage Gear Whore by Curly Maple. I have a feeling that's a ghost writer, but it's the rock of ages. And it talks about the Fender Woody, the very first amplifier by Leo Fender. Story? Of course, dear. In the year 2000, it's almost impossible for guitarists to imagine a time when Fender was anything less than a household name. In fact, the household name for electric guitars and instruments. But even the great Leo Fender had to start somewhere, as this little 10 watt amp will attest. It was named the Model 26. Right, the amp shown here sports serial number 645 and was assembled probably by Leo himself in 1946, before there was even such a thing as rock and roll. And the grill cloth, if you could call it that, is made of pink felt. According to amp expert Frank Matanis, blue felt was also an option at the time, so you could either get blue or pink. Most significant, perhaps, is the complete absence of the Fender logo on the front panel. Almost indestructible in its hardwood cabinet, this little beast has weathered more than a half a century with amazing grace and still features the original 10-inch Jensen fuel coil speaker, which in itself is a valuable piece of vintage history. Back in 1946, Allen Co. and ceramic magnets were just a glimmer in the eyes of some inventors and engineers. Engineers were still having trouble making units that maintain their electric charge. To remedy the situation, they employed electromagnets, and the fuel coil in this Model 26 draws its power from the amplifier's B circuit. The Model 26, worth about $1,500 on the open market, runs a Class A circuit that Leo undoubtedly adapted and licensed from a RCA radio tube manual. It's an AM radio circuit and uses a 65C7 preamp tube and a 6N7 phase inverter both which are essentially extinct today. Let me tell you, cranked up this little baby puts any Supro or Tweed amp of the day to shame. With smooth overdrive and ballsy mid-range tone, seems that even back in 1946, the heart of rock and roll was feeding. important for a new channel to get subscribers watch it all the way to the end hit the bell and comment so you have interaction that's how you help a brand new channel which is what we are help us out